Tonight is March the 16th, 2019. What I like a video of tonight is uh, something I've really been enjoying lately. I was recently out in San Diego and I picked up a uh, SDR Play. This little plastic box right here that just absolutely does miracles. This uh, video is not going to be about this uh, SDR. There are a number of videos already out on YouTube by the manufacturer and others. But what I built for it that I think uh, is necessary is this little uh, switching box. Here, I can unplug it right quick and I'll show you what it looks like. This is where the antenna comes in. It's actually parallel with my little Collins 75 uh, S3. Uh, this connection right here is going out to the SDR. It's an SMA connector. One of them comes uh, from the from the uh, SDR, I'm sorry, from the PC, the other one goes to the speakers, and this is a 24 volts in. So this is what the thing looks like disconnected. So I put three and a half millimeter plugs in. Uh, I run this through a relay that's inside. I don't want to take it apart, but there's a relay in there that this goes through that uh, mutes the uh, SDR. Here's the uh, actuating voltage. The um, uh, antenna comes in here, this goes to the SDR, and then when the SD, when, when I'm transmitting, the SDR input is shorted right here. This is a shorting plug. A little bit fancy right there, but that's okay. So I can easily put it right back together. Doesn't matter which way is in and out. Plug the speakers in. Plug the uh, control voltage in. Twist on the... Uh, the SDR, and if, you're, uh, if you can see the screen at the same time I'm doing all this, yeah, you'll see it come alive when I, when I hook up the antenna right here. There it is. Uh, these spikes out here, this is from my uh, Wi-Fi. I guess I've almost gotten kind of used to them and they, they have become part of my life, so to speak. I know that my antenna is hooked up and uh, everything is doing what it's supposed to do when, when I see all these spikes out there. Now, another thing that this thing was absolutely essential for, two things actually. One is I wanted to make sure I disconnected the uh, antenna properly from it. I didn't want to overload the front end of the SDR because that's one of the things that uh, they tell you, don't do that. Secondly, I had to have a button right here which allows me to uh, <coughs> When I hold it in, it's, it's, a, it's a button that I can hold in. I have to use that to tune. That relaxes this relay. So since I use boat anchor equipment, I use the old Collins S-Line. Here's what I do. Let me turn it up so you can, so you can hear a little audio coming out of the SDR. There you go. I hope that, that's probably loud enough. I'm probably swamping everything out. Let me turn it down just a little bit. But I know that what I hear in here and what you hear on the camera could be very different. I'll turn my mic down, I put it in sync. Okay, and then I go over here, I go back to my SDR, zoom out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. And let's suppose I want to, let's suppose I'm listening to somebody uh, right there that I want to, uh, that's at 14251.950 for whatever that's worth. Well, I have to press this and see my carrier pop up right there. That's just the oscillator running. I'm actually not transmitting. But then I go back over to my uh, 32S1 and I'll start tuning. See it moving over there? And I'm gonna zero beat it. There you go. So now I'm zero beat. That's why you have to have this button. Because when I put it in sync, it initializes this thing and then I can't see or hear it. But it shuts it off. Works great. That's why that's why I went to the trouble of building this. Now, again, me operating, you know, a, uh, an old station with separate transmitter and receiver. This is my solution, and uh, I'm really pleased with it. I built another one before this one that I just showed you. It's right here. Let me show you. Try not to kick the camera. It's a little bit simpler one, in a way, but I wanted a. One, this one uses a little tiny relay. It doesn't use a real RF relay like that microwave thing I have over there. But it's, this one's got two sets of contacts. So one set of contacts opens the uh, 
does exactly the same job as this one does and then the, the other set of contacts opens up the uh, the speaker leads which there's a another relay on, on inside the chassis that opens up the speaker leads but this one does exactly the same thing in this one I did put a couple of diodes back to back some germanium diodes across the output that goes to the see I used to use a little RTL SDR and uh, I thought that helped protect it and this one works just as well but I wanted a, I wanted a little fancier one. You know how it is, you gotta build something. You gotta keep building. Uh, let's go over here and I'll show you some of the other relays that I uh, considered using. I have some, uh, these are some little, I bet everybody knows what these are. Everybody's seen these guys. These are all 28 volt stuff. This is all military surplus stuff. And then this one right here. But I, I settled with that other one. I had this one in there for a while, this little RTL uh, SDR. You don't really need this. This is for the uh, FM band. Uh, I don't get any FM through all this anyway. I, it just doesn't make it through the coax and everything. I also use this. This is actually a very nice device. I made a, a separate video on this a couple of years ago. High frequency bandpass filter. Um, I heard about the RTL SDR is not having a very good front end. so. I did this. This is how you tune it. You know, it's it's a binary thing. Like for 14 megahertz, it's a one zero one zero. See, one is up, one zero one zero, and it works works beautifully. Don't need it though. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, here's a schematic to it. Here's a schematic to that thing that. Uh, this is actually that of, of the. This is actually of this little box right here, but the two are the same. The only difference is the uh, the one I just showed you that comes apart. It, uh, I do not have these diodes in there, but I have a diode across the relay, so the you know, so the collapsing EMF doesn't put out a big spike. There's the push button. Here it comes in. Uh, RFN goes straight through to the SDR, and um, when I switch it, it switch it over here to the ground position of the single pole double throw switch. Here's another single pole double throw. So, so it's a double pole double throw, a uh, little relay, and uh, this one, when it when it's actuated, uh, disconnects the speakers, it mutes the speakers. So there you go. It's just that simple, and I think that's about all I'm going to say about it. I'll uh, briefly uh, show you show you my station here. Um, I use the uh, 32S1. Love that thing. I've had it 35 years. Same thing with the 75S3 beautiful receiver a uh, communication type receiver I, it it doesn't sound as good as the uh, the uh, SDR uh, here's a little ICOM IC736 I use that one in conjunction with uh, one of these two amplifiers this is a 3400Z back there this one at the bottom is a uh, 833 I should just turn the phone on some just so you can see it see that guy light up Actually, they uh, they run the same amount of power. Get the same amount of power out of this 833 as I do the uh, 3400Z. And then the big amplifier is this guy right here that runs the uh, 31000Z in it. This is built into a 1947 Collins 30K1 cabinet. Now, as far as quality goes about the SDR, which is what this is about, I compare it to this guy right here. This is a beautiful sounding receiver, this old Collins R390. I can just barely discern one microvolt input to it. And I use this right here. I have a little HP signal generator out here. I use this guy right here for, the, for those kind of tests. We're not going to do the test right now. But I can just barely hear one microvolt into it. And uh, the uh, little SDR, I can see a blip and I can hear 0.1 microvolts so that'd be 100 nanovolts very very sensitive the thing about it is, is if a signal is uh, S5 or S6 or above I can copy it just as well on uh, these receivers right here including the R390 and the audio of it comes out of that speaker right there it just sounds beautiful I mean this is, an, this is actually an AM receiver you know and uh, it sounds like you're in the room with them. 
but actually the SDR does too. So uh, I'm in love with my little SDR uh, receiver for right now and I've been playing with it a lot but I wanted to um, just show you that I, I, if you operate a separate transmitter and receiver you probably need something like this. It doesn't have to be very fancy. Now I know everybody just about most people operate uh, transceivers. You got a little bit different problem there. MFJ makes a um, a TR switch for the uh, SDR. You can look that one up. I don't remember the model number. It's about 75 or 80 bucks. I don't know. I do have one. I did build one. I'll show you very briefly. I can't demonstrate it, but I'll, I'll show you. I, I did build that, and I used it on the RTL SDR. Let me see if I can get over here and set the camera down. It's, uh, it's this chassis. Whoops. It's this chassis right here. What you have to do is 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 kind of dangerous. You have to hook your SDR here. I've, I've actually got a diagram of it. I'll, I'll show you briefly. What you have to do is, um, and this is pretty much the way I think um, MFJ does it. This is the antenna going coax going to your antenna. You come in through a. I used an SO two thirty nine T. This would be a female, female, and a male. And you just use a proper adapter. Maybe I didn't draw all of them in there with a barrel connector. So when you transmit, see, you have to disconnect this quickly. Because this is going to your SDR. Because if you don't disconnect, you're going to put the output of your, your transmitter across your SDR. And you will have an SDR no longer. You'll smoke it instantly. But this one does a similar thing. It, it, it uh, shorts uh, the... Um, the SDR to ground right here through the relay. Here's a 12 volt supply. This is going to the TR relay on the uh, ICOM. I never used this part of it right here. I didn't need that part. I used this with the little RTL SDR because I wanted the pan adapter portion of it. But I used uh, you know the receiver in here. I never used the receiver of the SDR right here. But this is actually the way you can do it, and this works too. I think in the um, MFJ one, be very careful if you build this one. I'm not responsible if you build this and you blow your SDR up. Uh, it did not blow mine up. But you want to make sure that when you think about it, you want to make sure that you, you uh, initialize this relay at the same time very quickly uh, when, you, uh, when you start to transmit. You've got to disconnect it very, <laughs> very quickly before you uh, start putting out some RF. So there you go. That is the RT. No, not the not, not the RTL. I keep saying that. That is the uh, little softer software defined radio uh, SDR play. Amazing little piece of equipment. It's interesting that that little black piece of plastic right here that weighs two or three ounces and costs a little over a hundred bucks is is such a good quality communication receiver. Such is progress. Well, thanks for watching. Stay safe.